Good morning, everyone. Before we start, let's put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord as we all say in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you for today. Thank you for grace in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us focus on our hearts and minds and now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your internal light as we discover more about the world around us. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So good morning everyone. Today's discussion, let's talk about the different types of distance learning. So what is distance learning? So distance learning is a form of learning in which students do not need to attend school or college since lectures or are broadcast or classes are completed via mail or the internet. So there are four types of distance learning such as video conferencing, hybrid distance education, open schedule online courses, and fixed time online courses. So here are the objectives for today. So after three minutes of discussion, students are expected to first enumerate the different types of distance learning, second define each type of distance learning, and lastly provide an example situation for each type. So these are the types of distance learning. First, we have the video conferencing. So video conferencing, it is a traditionally a meeting where two or more participants use video to connect over the internet. This is a form of synchronous communication using tools like Zoom, Blackboard, Collaborate, Adobe Connect, or other conferencing software. Teachers and students interact together no matter where they are located. So the second one is the hybrid distance education. So hybrid distance education combines synchronous and asynchronous methods. Students receive deadlines to complete assignments and exams, then they work at their own pace. So the third one is the open schedule online courses. So open schedule online courses, um, under the asynchronous category, you'll find open schedule online instruction. So such courses provide students with plenty of freedom. So to, to complete coursework, students receive um, like emails, bulletin boards, uh, online textbooks, and more. So students are given a set of deadlines, then the instructor sets them free to work at their own pace. Students who uh, value learning independently excel with this format. So the last one is the fixed time online courses. So it is the most common format for distance learning. So students log into the learning site at designated times. They must complete pre-scheduled on classroom activities at a specific pace. So the, uh, those are the various types of distance learning. Uh, those approaches to education can be synchronous or asynchronous. Some fall into both categories. So I have here the evaluation. Uh, so based from understanding, define these words and give one example for each type. First, the video conferencing. Second, the hybrid distance education. Then open schedule online courses. And lastly, fixed time online courses. So that's all everyone. I hope you learned something. Thanks for listening.